Bobby, Bobby Riggs. Bobby? How'd you get my number? Called every hotel in San Diego. Listen, I had a great idea. Okay. Well, it's after midnight, Bobby. So can we talk another time? You and me, Billie Jean. Three sets, five sets, your choice. I want to tell you guys about a really cool, thoroughly entertaining period piece movie called Battle of the Sexes. Now, this is inspired by true events from the early 1970s. At the time, Billie Jean King was in her 20s. She was at the top of the women's tennis tour. Bobby Riggs was long retired, well past his prime as a tennis great, now in his mid-50s, but always looking for a promotion, always looking for a hustle. So it was Riggs who came up with the idea of the Battle of the Sexes first took on Margaret Court and destroyed her in straight sets. That set up a giant battle at the Astrodome between Billie Jean and Bobby. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Custer's last stand. This is the lover versus the liver. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking, Bobby. The more nonsense you spell, the worse it's gonna be when you lose. <laughs> well, I'm the ladies number one. I'm the champ. Why would I lose? Because well, dinosaurs can't play tennis. <laughs> I'm gonna put the show back in chauvinism. Steve Carell as Bobby Riggs is just absolutely brilliant. Doesn't really look like him in real life, but the transformation here is just amazing. He deserves best supporting actor consideration. And I actually think this might be Emma Stone's best performance as Billie Jean King. Uh, she's fiercely competitive, she's very likable, and she's going through a lot in this movie because Billie Jean King was in a was in a marriage to her longtime sweetheart, very loyal guy, who was also her manager, but she was just coming to terms and acknowledging her sexuality and embarking on her first serious romance with another woman. Uh, Billie Jean King has gone on to become a great leader not just on the court, but for social causes, a real inspiration. This movie really brings that home. It's funny, it's sweet, it's occasionally a little bit heartbreaking, and it really, really captures those crazy events of the early 1970s. I'm giving it three and a half stars, and an A-minus, Battle of the Sexes.